Okay. <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel, and also welcome to episode two of Training Bandit. So today I decided to get a bit of an earlier start to things. Um, just wanted to be productive. So yeah, um, it's currently seven sixteen exact. But I'm gonna head downstairs, grab a quick breakfast, and then we can head up to the barn and begin his training. So I think today I'm just gonna be riding him working on his ride ability and working on my equitation as well because it's been quite a while since I've ridden a younger horse. So let's do this. Okay, so I am ready. Uh, I've got my breakfast. I feel a lot more awake. Um, but anyway, it's quite chilly out today, so I'm going to grab a coat, and then we'll head up to the barn and start. So let me just grab my jacket real quick, which is in my little closet I have right here. Okay, let's put it on, and then we are ready. So let's go. Okay, so before we begin today, um, I have a little surprise for all of you guys. Well, it's for me mainly, but I think you guys will enjoy it as well. So, this thing is going to be so helpful. I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, so anyway, please let me introduce to you Kroger. <laughs> Um, so Kroger is my golf cart, which is going to be super helpful going from the barn to the house, from the barn to the house, you know, and feeding so I don't have to walk and all the, all the things. So yes, I'm so excited about this little dude. So we're going to take him for a little spin and I'm still getting used to driving him because he's very speedy. So we're going to try this. Okay. So, um, I've gotten on and I'm just going to back him up and see how this goes. So, um, oh gosh. Oh no. Uh, this is not going well. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Okay, guys, so um, that was fun. Kroger is quite the speedy little guy, but anyway, it is now time to grab Bandit, and we're going to groom him and tack him up and begin his training for today. So let's go grab him. Okay, so before we grab Bandit, um, I'm going to turn Cosmo out because I put them up every night, and so I don't want him to be cooped up in a stall all day while I work with Bandit, so I'm going to put him out in the pasture. Let me get on his halter, and then we'll head out there. Okay, just put Cosmo out and now it's time to grab Bandit. So I'm just going to grab my halter, put him in the cross ties and I will groom him and tack him up. So, oh, and I'm also going to get some treats, which I don't have any in my tack box right now. Not sure why. <laughs> um, I always have treats in there, but I don't right now. So anyway, hello, buddy. Ah, oh, you're so cute. He's literally like so cute. Um, okay. They're always just so cozy hanging out in their stalls in the morning. So let's halter you up, bud, and begin. Good boy. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. Come on, bandit. <clears throat> oh, my voice is like crackly right now. <laughs> okay. So let's put him in the cross ties and then groom him up. And also their stalls are super small and they're just like, ugh, they're just too small. So I'm definitely going to expand them. I think they're wide enough. I just want them to go back a little bit more. So we're going to try to expand them some sometime. But anyway, let's grab his grooming supplies and then we'll groom him up and head out there. So I think I am going to have some ground poles 
um, and some, maybe some mini jumps, but today is definitely mostly just focusing on riding and equitation, but I will probably have some ground poles, so we'll see, but anyway, let's get grooming. Okay, so I've got him all groomed up and clean. I'm gonna grab my helmet real quick. And he was not very dirty at all. He was just, he had just been in his stall, so he was not dirty, so that was a plus. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm looking for my saddle, which I have no idea why it's not in my tack box, but I think I remember putting it in here, so we'll go check. But it should be in here, so. Yes, here it is. <laughs> Who loses their saddle? Ugh, this is a struggle, but, um, those are their registration papers. Okay, so, we're ready. Um, I'm just gonna tack him up, and then we'll be ready to head out there. Okay, I'm just gonna pop on his saddle real quick, open up his inventory, and put it on. Okay, and yes, so, <laughs> we're about ready to get out there, make sure his bridle is all straight and right and I have to put on my helmet too as well <laughs> safety first um put it on okay there we go and also I'm going to take off my coat because it has warmed up a little bit since this morning so I'm gonna take that off real quick and we're ready yes so I'm gonna untie him from the cross ties and then we'll head out there Okay, so <laughs> um, we're ready to get started, and I do have some mini jumps set up as well as some ground poles that we're going to be using today, so hopefully all goes well, um, but I'm just going to start off by doing a nice stretchy walk all the way around the arena a few times just to get him nice and loosened up and warmed up because I'm, I'm not going to lunge him. I'm just going to be walking him around for a while, so, and it's pretty hard for horses to come from their stalls right into work so that's why we're going to do a nice long good warm-up to get him started and then I'll kick him up into the trot <clears throat> go around a few times try the poles of the trot we'll just kind of play around with today see what we can do but anyway yeah just gonna warm him up get him all ready and also we're gonna be doing some circles on a bit of a longer rein so that he can bend and stretch his neck the way that he needs to because it's a little bit tight and that's never a good thing so and also i'm gonna try some leg yielding which i'm not sure how that's gonna go because he does have a little bit of a hard time responding to my leg but we're gonna see how it goes so in minecraft when you lower your head it encourages the horse to lower its head and so therefore he is kind of loosening his top line and stretching out throughout his back which is what we want because bandit was a little bit tight and also i'm gonna try and do a circle like this um because bending a little bit to the right i think is where I'm, I'm traveling to the right so i want him to have a bit of flexion in his head and up towards his pole kind of to the right so that it's really just stretching him out as well as the long rein it's just so good for his neck and yes yeah, so this is an awful circle for <laughs> having your head down and not seeing where you're going but this is good so yeah 
Okay, so here I still have them in the walk. Um, I'm going to walk over these trot poles real quick and then... Um, so I think he's been warmed up enough, so I'm actually going to kick him up into the trot. And here he is. A pretty good trot. A <laughs> little inconsistent, but it's a pretty good trot, so I'm happy with it. Um, so anyway, now we're going to trot these poles. So let's see how he does at the trot. That was good. Um, so then we're going to come around here, and I'm going to try to leg yield off this wall, but I'm not sure how it's going to go. Um, okay, yep, as you can see, he is quite rusty. He's not even really going. He's just kind of, yeah, he did not respond to my leg at all. So we're going to try this again. Um, just trot over these poles again, and then we're going to come around and do the same thing try to like yield off the wall again but <laughs> um yeah he okay this is there eh, this is not working um we gotta figure out what what was going on I think it's gonna be a lot easier at the canter um I don't know it's just very hard to leg yield at the trot so in Minecraft at least um so I'm actually going to bring him around and we're gonna begin cantering so here we are cantering and I'm gonna go canter over the poles, which he did great right there. And I'm gonna try to leg yield here. And here we are, oh, much, much better. Here he is actually <laughs> leg yielding, which I'm very happy with. Um, okay, that was weird. I didn't even go over the poles, but anyway. Yes, that's a much better leg yield, so yes. Okay, so here we are doing a circle at the canter, which is okay quite speedy but it's good um so now we're gonna try and do a lead change ah there we go that was a terrible um and come on this pole skin and then i think i'm just gonna give him a nice walk after all that cantering in this direction super good i've just been walking him around the arena to cool him down but anyway yeah um he did great there are some things that we can definitely improve on but yes i think that's gonna be the end of this training for today so i hope you guys enjoyed and learned some things and <laughs> all that good stuff so yeah i'm gonna go put him out in the pasture and let him enjoy his rest of the day with cosmo because he did super good Okay, everyone, so that's going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, Bandit did so well, and I'm super happy with him. So, yes, and also, today's shout-out goes to Lily Cute Street. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you all for your support. Um, and also, I'm at 360 subscribers, I think, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.